Hey internet friends, it is Multiply. Now, this is an unsponsored video, therefore, if you do find the information useful and if you do decide to buy anything, please use the affiliate links below. It doesn't cost you anything extra and helps make these videos possible. And for Era 4, there's this introductory pricing, and so if you do go down that route, make sure you get it before the 31st of July, as the price will go back up. Marvellous, but what even is this? It's audio repair. Removing noise, removing reverb, removing plosives, de-clipping, de voice leveling, all with this single control, for the most part. You can also configure them a little bit too, if you wanted to, with these guys, if you like. But how does this compare to RX? Isotope RX 7, they're on now. I've been using it since RX 4, maybe seven years or so ago, so I'm very familiar with RX. It's the main one. At the top end, it's very expensive, but you do get a lot, all of these modules. So at the top end, there's no comparison. RX is it, but what about at the lower end? Comparing, say, Era 4 Standard and RX Elements, which are currently about the same price. Roughly, because of the introductory pricing. But after July, when the price goes back up to normal, compare it to this, RX 7 Standard. It's more modules, sure, but how do they compare? Say, declipping. Which has the better declipper? Which has the better denoiser? A Kusinos or an Isotope? Let me tell you. Now, for noise removal, for most people, it's better in Era 4. It's simpler. You just turn it up until the noise is reduced. This is a noisy sample. Yeah. This is a noisy sample. Yeah. This is a noisy sample. Yeah. Compare this to dialogue denoise. This is a noisy sample. Yeah. By default, it doesn't remove all the noise. parameters aren't intuitive, but even if you do learn them, you still can't remove all the noise in this case, as you can see. This is a noisy sample. We even use two instances, it's still better in Era 4. This is a noisy sample. Yeah. This is a noisy sample. Yeah. You can definitely do it with RX, but it takes more work. It's not as simple as just turning it up. I spent a lot of time testing this years with RX and a few full days with Era, and the noise removal was just better in Era 4. For example, in both situations here, I've removed all the noise. Notice how it's just a touch more intelligible with Era 4. A noisy sample, a noisy sample, a noisy sample, a noisy sample, a noisy sample. A noisy sample, a noisy sample, a noisy sample. However, this is important, one example alone, or even three or four examples alone, shouldn't convince you of anything. Maybe I just picked a convenient example. Maybe in that one example it's better in Era 4, but in 10 other examples it's better in Rx. I mean, it's not, but you see my point. And that's, in fact, that illustrates Probably the most important insight about the other modules too. Take the DSO for example. I found about half the time it was better in error, half the time it was better in RX. So it's not the one's better than the other, they're just different. And until you test 30, 40, 50, 100 different things, you just don't know which is better. 
on average. And it's the same with the plosives. Sometimes Ira catches them, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes Rx catches them, sometimes it doesn't. And there's a whole Venn diagram of options. And it's, again, about 50-50 whether or not Ira comes out on top or Rx does. And again, from my testing, it's about 50-50. It's not the one's better than the other. But that's not true about D-Clip. The D-Clip is just better in Rx. It works every time. In fact, assuming you clip your peaks right at the top, like here, you just load it up and choose high quality mode and it will work perfectly every time. Turning a clip peak like this into an unclipped peak like this. And whilst you don't normally need the options, they're there if you do. If say the clipped peaks are lower, you pull down the threshold. Or if you want to do your own limiting, you can just turn off the limiter and limit yourself. And this works as near as makes no difference every single time, 100% of the time. Whereas it doesn't work every time in Era's D Clipper. Era's D Clipper, for example, doesn't declip this baseline. However, it does generally work well for speech and vocals. Here, for example, it declipped the vocal. I don't quite understand why. I mean, it says in the manual, it's optimized for vocals, but why? I'm not sure. Reverb remover. Now, I have slightly mixed thoughts about this. It's definitely better in era. In RX, it just doesn't really work. I mean, you have to set the length and then play around with this, and even then, doesn't always work. In fact, it almost never works. I could show you this example for how it works better in era than RX, but without showing you 30 examples, that shouldn't be enough to convince you because again, maybe I just picked an example that's better for era than RX. Again, I haven't. It is better in era. I spent a lot of time testing it. But I'll show you anyway. So here's the original. And here's era removing reverb. Pretty good. Now, Rx. Just doesn't do as good of a job. It's subtle, but notice how there's still some reverb at the beginning. This was after dialing everything in and playing around with that tail length and the other guy to try and do it as best as possible. It just doesn't work as well in RX. So for removing reverb, here is the way to go. If you need to remove reverb, and that's, that's where I, I do struggle a bit. I mean, when would you actually use it? I mean, yes, you could take a loop like this, try to remove the reverb, but why? I mean, if you want a dry sound, find some dry sounds, find some dry drums, take the loop, Extract the MIDI if you want, or manually line things up, and just sort of make it dry, make it perfect. Removing reverb just doesn't really work. Nine times out of 10, it will completely fail, like here. So you'd have to mask the imperfections, in which case just mask the reverb. It doesn't really make sense to my brain. And finally, voice leveler. Leveling the level of the voice. Again, 50-50. Sometimes it works better in era, sometimes better in RX, and there's no predicting which. On average though, it's 50-50. Era's easier to use, so maybe that's a reason to go that way. But then again, in RX, you can change it after the fact. So I say 50-50. It's not like one's better than the other. Half the time it's better in era, half the time it's better in RX. And half the time you can use something else, a compressor or a limiter or 
And there are many different uh, ways to make a whole bunch of options for this. Now, I should also mention D click. It's not an error, but it is in RX, both D click and in the standard version, mouth D click and D crackle. And these modules. Very, very good. Let's this, 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 let's this. Breath controls a headache, it's sometimes works, but more often doesn't work and creates more work for yourself. So ignore that guy. If you have to check manually afterwards, well, what's the point in trying to automate it? So ignore that. But de click, de crackle, mouth de click. These are excellent. And so, in conclusion, which do you get? It's actually quite easy to explain. If you primarily want to remove noise, error four, 100% error four. I'll say it again, if you primarily want to remove noise, error four is the way to go. It's easier and it sounds better. And if the reverbing's important to you, I'm not quite sure why it would be, but if it is, again, error four is the way to go. But for everything else, going to be RX as it does more D-clips objectively better. And you get D-click, and in the standard version, mouth D-click, D-crackle, and even spectral repair. Where spectral repair allows you to draw out little mistakes and things. Sounds like witchcraft, and it is, but it works. If you found this video useful, and if you do decide to buy anything, please use the affiliate links below. It doesn't cost you anything extra, and it helps keep the channel going. It helps make these videos possible. My name is Multiplier. Catch you on the flippity flip.